It's good with y'all boys, man. It's Clip Ganger Don't Bang. Tonight's gonna be a little bit different video. I'm just gonna make a video basically giving the story time on how I became a Clipper fan for life. And um in in particular the the Clippers is an interesting one because with the Chargers and the Padres, I just sorta of, you know, I was just sort of a Charger and Padre fan since day one. I mean you know, that's like, you know, that's just like the sports uh, your dad had you grow up on and play like since, you know, since you're like six years old. So, yeah, I was more of like a football, baseball kid. Um, I like playing basketball with my friends and stuff at school, but I couldn't play like um, organized basketball because it was the same seasons as, you know, when I played football, baseball, wrestling. So, yeah, I mean, basically... There's no interesting story behind the clip, the Chargers and the Padres because that's just the way it was since I can remember. But the Clippers actually had a choice to make. You know, it was a pretty easy choice. I just kind of, you know, just kind of went with my heart. and Because um, indeed, I did grow up. I I'm I wouldn't say I'm a Laker fan because I never repped them or I'd never really cared even when I was little. And I like watched them, you know, I watched the 2009, 2010 finals. I seen Kobe play and stuff, even though I wasn't really into basketball watching it. I still watched them. And, you know, I, that's that's more than a lot of these new Laker fans can say. All of them are, you know, or at least most of them are just like they haven't they haven't seen the last real ring in 2010, man. I must say a lot of them are new. Obviously, shout out to, like, you know, the OG non-toxic Laker fans, but, yeah, like, so, if I wanted to, I have more Laker credentials than most of these motherfuckers. I'm sure other Clipper fans feel the same, whether their family's all Laker fans and they're the only Clipper fan or whatever. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm saying is, is that, you know, I could have easily became a Laker fan if I wanted to hype Beast or you know, just care about the brand, or, you know, just something like that, but basically, I'm gonna get into the timeline, so, so I started, um, like I said, growing up, football, baseball, all I really cared about, um, so, like, you know, I didn't really start getting into basketball until around 2012, 2013, I'll just watch randomly, not any specific teams. I mean, I'm a San Diego State basketball fan, but I would just like if there's college basketball on, I would just turn on the games and watch because it was just starting to grow more interesting to me. And um, so, yeah, I actually started off watching like college hoops, like 2012, 2013. And then 2014, when I was a freshman in high school, um, so I was on vacation and I would always remember like whenever I was on vacation in the summer the finals were was always happening and um yeah I mean like yeah the finals was always going on and I remember it was always the Spurs like 2013 and 2014 it was the Spurs and the Heat right so and then of course my favorite my favorite player and um also played on my favorite college team which is where I'm from San Diego San Diego State yes sir Kawhi Leonard man so the first finals like obviously I watched like finals before when I was a kid but I didn't really you know I was still casual I didn't really uh couldn't dissect the game the same as I can now but so when I first started getting into watching like you know the basketball or NBA at least because I was a college um, hoops watcher before. But, so yeah, so it was that 2014 finals. And guess who came out of San Diego State and won that finals MVP? My man, our man, Kawhi Leonard, man. Oh, my God. This dude was a beast at SDSU and on the Spurs. So when he just, like, he was just like that. He was just so clutch that series. Like, he was just that glue guy just playing defense. You see that video of LeBron. Like, he just sees when Kawhi checks in to guard him um, after his free throw. And he just says to himself, he's like, fuck, man. Like, you, you know. 
LeBron did not want to be guarded by this man. He was just all over him. LeBron still got his points up, of course, because he's going to shoot in volumes. But, man, like, Kawhi did his thing. And the fact that he was like, you know, he reps, you know, my hometown, obviously San Diego, and uh, played for my favorite college and stuff, that just, like, really got me into it. So since then, Kawhi, like, instantly became my favorite player. So when he joined the Clippers, like, I heard the rumors and stuff. Um, but I'm a, I'm gonna get into that stuff later, but I heard the rumors about like Kawhi, but I didn't expect PG to come honestly, but Kawhi, I mean, I, you know, we all heard the rumors, but couldn't really believe it. Like it was kind of a long shot. Like we're just not used to nice things like that. So it was just unexpected. So yeah. Anyways, so 2014 started paying attention more and I was just watching the finals at the time. Um, See, I was like, I was still kind of a casual, but, you know, I was starting to get into it and pay attention more. And once, like, I was just seeing the young Kawhi just ascending before my eyes. I was just, like, amazed me. And um, I don't know. I'm that type of person. Once I see someone, like, from, you know, that reps the hometown area, you know, out of my, come out that college, you know, do do great things. It just, ooh, that just moved Kawhi up my list big time, so. I wasn't a Spurs fan. I wasn't. I had. I hadn't declared any team yet. Um, at the time of this, if people asked me, I said Clippers. But that was during the Lob City era. So this era right here, I was basically. Um, you know, I had like, I had some like Clippers sweats and stuff, and like from like 2014, 2015. Um, I never had any Laker gear in my life. So let's get that straight. But yeah, like I wasn't really like. I wasn't paying the most attention during Lob City. I would just watch, like, Jamal Crawford's highlight CP3 and stuff because they are like, two of my favorite players, especially Jamal Crawford. And he's part of one of the big reasons why I became a Clipper fan, too. Same thing with CP3. But, um, yeah, I mean, they're just, like, this team was, like, so fun to watch. And like I said, too, I wasn't, like, fully invested in the Clippers yet. I would just kind of peep them from time to time. If people asked me, I would say they were my favorite team, but I was still casual. I mean, I didn't really know what what was what and what was going on because I, you know, I just cared more about, um, I was still in high school at the time, so I had a lot of shit going on. Plus, I cared more about football and baseball, so you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this team was just, this team was, was good, but luckily, I never got to... <laughs> experience any of the heartbreaks they had in the playoffs so you know those uh shout out to y'all clipper fans that were there like pre-lob city and stuff that went through all that heartbreak but i feel like that blown 3-1 lead by by doc in the 2019 i just felt like uh that's probably all the lob city heartbreaks it just felt like that all in one so uh i kind of um get what they feel like over like this team not um not hitting its full potential but hey i mean life goes on and then we transition into the next phase this is when i became a certified clipper fan so i remember when the season just started i was like okay you know i'm a i'm a the clip the clips are my team you know i mean we got the underdogs I like the squad. They're just like everyone just grew on me so quick. Like we had Lou Will, Trez just doing their two man game. Oh man, Pat Bev locking shit down. It was just great. And then Gallinari, Tobias obviously had their greatest seasons with us uh, statistically, and they're just doing good things. And we're just like the team meshed so well, and they're all underdogs. And um, at the time, like it just like. Like, I just, like, you know, related so much because at this time, this 2018 Clippers, I had, I was barely starting uh, college. So I'm not, like, a school person, too. Like, I just, you know, I just rather just do my trade, go to trade school, just, you know, do my thing. But anyway, so, yeah, school, I was just, like, uh, I was just like, man, 
I just looked forward to to uh, watching the Clipper games once I got home from school because school sucked ass, and um, that shit was depressing. So I don't know, man. It was just connected with this like with this team so so much, and um, honestly too, Shea Gilgis was a big part because he was about the same age as me at the time and seeing him ball out and I could just see the potential. I was just so high on Shea. He's still in my top top five favorite players in the league right now he's honestly in my top three like Shay, i have like so much like emotionally invested into Shay. i was just like knew he was gonna be a star so that shit felt like a dagger like in my heart man when we traded him but oh you know you gotta you gotta give up something i guess like to get Kawhi on your team but uh you know it like that was just tough. And then when we came back down 31 and then we just started the whole comeback clips thing versus the Warriors. And, you know, we took the one of the greatest teams of all time with KD, Clay, Steph, and we took them to game six. And, uh, you know, like, obviously nobody thought we were going to win that series, but still, you know, we kind of took it down to a wire and um, we played gritty. So that just like that season just made me a certified like Clipper fan for life and once like Kawhi and stuff like you know how I started this video with Kawhi right coming from my favorite uh college when I was watching college hoops so you know once he came to us it just everything came full circle and it was just like you know it was just great and obviously like I've embraced Paul George by now and stuff like that but uh yeah I mean like when this happened, I was just like in shock. I was just whoa. Obviously, the shade thing giving him away kind of hurt, but man, it was just like it was awesome. And um, I mean, that's where we are today. Obviously, minus Doc in this picture because Doc's ass is is out of here. But you know, that's just basically the story. And um, yeah, I mean, it was just like that. Basically, that 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 2018 team just with um you know all the underground legends in 2018 it was just that's what that's the year that kind of made me uh certified you know I've kept up almost every single game uh ever since so um yeah I mean this is just basically how I became a Clipper fan and you know I had a choice to be made and that's what I'm saying it's very easy to just be like oh you know I'm from uh SoCal and the Lakers have the most championships in the NBA. Uh, let me just be a Laker fan just because, you know, the, the clothes are popular. And, you know, they used to have, they used to be really good. <laughs> like, man, that shit's so whack to me. And I, I've i never liked bandwagoners. Like, I remember, um, like, obviously I fuck with Warrior fans. And I like, Steph Curry's one of my favorite players in the NBA. But, you know, like, my first, like, before I even got into basketball, you know, like, the first, like, snapback I ever bought was a Warriors one, you know, my own cash, so, you know, that was, like, like, that was in, like, 2012, 2011, like, that was before, uh, obviously, I didn't know about the Warriors, but that was before, you know, they, they started popping off, so, you know, I could have said I could have been a Warriors fan, too, you know, if I really felt like it, but, no, I just didn't, I didn't like the bandwagon culture, I just stay true to the blue, you know, the Clippers, they just fit me, you know, because none of my teams have won a ring yet, so might as well pick a team that hasn't won a ring, and they're on the up and coming, and uh, it's just going to be so sweet once the Clippers, Padres, or the Chargers finally break through and win something, God damn it, because, man, at this point, it is just getting ridiculous, but you know, just comment below your thoughts and, you know, whether your stories or whatever, how you became a fan or your thoughts on my story or all that shit, man. So hopefully this was entertaining. Um, I know I was just kind of uh, all over the place, but, you know, I, you know, we improv these videos, so it's just off the dome. So, yeah, I mean... Like I said, like the video, comment below what you think. Um, yeah, take it easy, guys. Have a good night. Much love. Clip Ganger, don't bang, signing out.